I would personally say that Fetch is one of the more bullish AI projects going into 2025, and it's looking extremely bullish on the charts. But before we get into all that, none of this is financial advice. I'm not paid by the Fetch team in any way to make this video, and I am not currently invested in Fetch at the making of this video. For those of you that want to come trade with me, get access to our buy and sell signals, our community, our academy, all that stuff, there are 14 spots left in the Epic Trading Floor All Access. So if you want to learn more, click learn more. There's a three minute video. And if you want to sign up, grab monthly or annual before those spots fill. If you average it out, it comes out to less than $3 a day to be in the group. And I'd say it's one of the few memberships that you'd get that can actually help you make money in the long run. So without further ado, roll the intro and let's get this video started. <music> Before we get into all the spicy spice, let's go over FET and the tokenomics. Now, this is called Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance. As you can see here, Fetch, Ocean, Singularity, they all merge together and they all trade under the FET ticker. So FET, the dollar sign FET. Me personally, I'm a big fan of projects that merge in the bear run, especially if they're building going into the bull run. For example, Polygon and Matic merged in 2020. That's why the name was Polygon and the ticker was Matic. And that obviously had a great year. So something like this, where it's three big projects, Ocean Protocol is a big ecosystem. Singularity was another big one. And Fetch was also very popular in 2021. So I do like where this is going long term, sitting at a $3.2 billion market cap, only at 45. So there is a lot of room for growth. And I'd say that this is probably one of the more well-known AI ecosystems going into it. So this could easily break into the top 25 if it really wanted to. And if AI really went exponential within the crypto space. Now you're sitting at a circulating supply of 2.6 billion out of the total and max supply of 2.7 billion, which means that it's finite, it's deflationary, and pretty much the entire circulating supply is already released. So there won't be any sort of deflation based on token releases. Now what Fetch is doing is looking to fully integrate AI into the decentralized space. And they do that through using an AI engine and what's called AI agents. Now the agents themselves are programs that can make choices on their own for individuals, companies, and devices. These agents are the actors and the heart of the Fetch AI ecosystem. So think of them just as higher level AI. They're flexible problem solvers. They're capable of not just completing tasks, but also tackling difficult issues across several domains. And some of the things that they can handle would be improving supply chain logistics, maintaining solid record keeping systems, executing computational tasks, or even enabling buying and selling interactions. And what makes this super appealing is that there's a low barrier to entry. So it says anybody can create an AI agent. Now, some of the companies that are already working and integrated with Vetch AI, OpenAI, Meta, Gemini, NVIDIA, Notion, Bosch, just to name a few off this list that are a bunch of massive names and projects, many of whom which are not in the crypto space specifically. And I do think that AI can crush in 2025 as well. There's nothing that would tell me that it wouldn't, especially how we've seen AI push in the modern space and how ChatGPT has become such an influence, I can only imagine what kind of things that we can push going into 2025. Because let's be real, the crypto space is basically just a giant test space. All the things that's happening and happened within the last four years were all things that were created essentially and worked on in 2020. Like ChatGPT had just been released in 2020, and it wasn't until the true push of the bull run and everything that people started to use the engine and then AI really became popular in the crypto space. And then from there, AI blew up in every other space. So essentially, it went from Web3 down to Web2. And then looking at this from a chart perspective, there's a few things that I want to take note of right off the bat. You're basically still testing prices from 2021, basically the high from 2021. But what really grabs my attention is that it already went exponential. It already has retraced. And now you're finding support holds on top of major resistances from what were all-time highs in 2021. That's very bullish to see going into 2025. That means that it's already exponentially grown in terms of market cap. And if there was any project that would go parabolic and continue to grow exponentially, there are projects like this that are already starting to dwarf what happened in 2021. Zooming in a little more, you have an inverse head and shoulders, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, neckline. All of these little circles you see are support tests. So SR flips, what once was a resistance turned into support. When you're trading head and shoulders patterns, they typically have an 80% win rate if you wait for it to break the neckline and confirm the SR flip. Break, so in this situation, it would be breaking the neckline and then holding as a support. If this starts to move to the top side without any other confluences, this has about an 80% win rate. Now from current price, if you did want to test the 2024 all time high, that's going to be about 184% move from current price. If you wanted to hit take profit three based on the Fibonacci extension, which is possible, 
because you did hold and test the 7860 fib through and through and did not actually double bottom so this was not null and voided you're looking at a potential play of about 405 percent and then you're going into price discovery mode from that point so who knows how high this project could actually get going into 2025 like I said, I'm extremely bullish going into AI and just being in the AI sector in general for this next bull run. So this one's definitely going to have my attention. And I think that out of all the AI projects that I've seen being released, I still think this has more upside than the majority of them. This is going to wrap up the video on Fetch AI. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comment section. I hope everyone has an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening. And I will see you on the next video.